this video we will be discussing tilting or leaning of cast in place concrete foundation walls. This is completely different than inward bowing and cracking of concrete block foundation walls. Cast in place foundation walls typically tilt inward under lateral soil pressure because of a failed connection along the top of the foundation wall, whereas concrete block foundation walls bow inward and develop numerous cracks because the block wall itself does not have adequate strength to resist the lateral earth pressure. The connection of the sill plate to the top of the foundation wall and the floor joist to the sill plate, along with beams which are pocketed into the foundation walls, are all critical in maintaining lateral stability of the foundation walls. As the pressure of the earth pushes against the outside of the foundation walls, the connection of the wall to the floor framing provides most of the resisting force necessary to keep the foundation wall in place. If the floor framing is not properly tied to the foundation wall, the foundation wall may move inward under the lateral soil pressure. In the example shown in this video, the floor joists were not toenailed into the sill plate and the top of the foundation wall had shifted inward approximately five and a half inches. The sill plate was bolted to the top of the foundation wall, so as the foundation wall shifted inward, the sill plate moved with it, causing a gap to develop as the floor joists extended beyond the foundation wall. This gap was filled in with insulation and two by material. A foundation wall which is five and a half inches out of plumb must be brought back to as plumb a position as possible. The first step in this process is to provide bracing along the foundation wall at the interior of the basement. Then remove decks or concrete patios and excavate along the exterior to remove the soil pressures. From within the excavation, the problem becomes very visible as you can see the bow in the foundation wall with respect to the outside line of the home. When the excavation is completed, the foundation wall can be pushed back to as plumb a position as possible. 100% recovery of the inward foundation wall movement is not likely. 80 to 90% is more likely. After the foundation wall is pushed back, it needs to be permanently held in position. For this particular home, we use vertical steel beams at the ends where the integrity of the foundation wall had been compromised with numerous diagonal cracks, and steel angles to reconnect the floor joists to the foundation wall in other areas where the foundation wall was in good condition. Window wells are then reinstalled and the excavation is backfilled.